Elsewhere around the world, a record breaking deep freeze gripped much of North America. The mercury plummeted 73 degrees Celsius below zero. In stark contrast, on the other side of the globe, parts of Australia are experiencing the worst heat wave in decades. EG1 has the latest. Temperatures in the northeastern United States and Canada have dipped far into the negatives, causing canceled flights and life threatening frostbite. Mount Washington in New Hampshire on Sunday claimed the second spot for the world's coldest ever recorded temperature, with a wind chill of minus 73.3 degrees Celsius. Burlington, Vermont was at minus 18 degrees with a wind chill of minus 34 degrees, while Philadelphia and New York were freezing at minus 13 degrees. This kind of cold can cause frostbite to expose skin in as little as 10 minutes. The snow and cold have been blamed for at least 19 deaths and thousands of canceled flights over the past few days. The National Weather Service said while temperatures will remain in the negatives on Monday evening, it'll get warmer over the course of this week. This comes after a historic winter storm hit the region, unleashing blizzard conditions that left piles of snow and thousands of power outages. Meanwhile, the other side of the world is reaching near record highs. Sydney sweltered through its hottest day in nearly 80 years on Sunday as the mercury soared to 47.3 degrees in the metropolitan area. A total fire ban was issued for the greater Sydney region, while officials at Sydney's international tennis tournament sent players off the court after temperatures surpassed 40 degrees late Sunday morning. A 2016 report by the Bureau of Meteorology has found that Australia's average surface air and sea temperatures had risen by around one degree since 1910, and that, quote, the duration, frequency, and intensity of extreme heat events has increased. Lee Ji-won, Arirang News.